Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful girl in a village. Her name is Bawang Puti. She has a parents that loves her so much. Her father is a rich person. Their family is so harmonious and happy. But one day, Bawang Puti's mother became seriously ill and eventually died. Bawang Puti and her father were so sad because they lost their loved ones. What did this happen to us? My mom that I love so much is now gone. My dear, I know this is hard for us. We must keep going and let it go. But it goes on being passionate here. And this is God's will. Everything will be beautiful in this time. In the village where Bawang Puti's father and Bawang Puti live, there was a widow with one child named Bawang Mera. Bawang Mera's mother often visit and brought food to Bawang Puti's house. Bawang Puti, do you like the food that I brought for you? Yes, Sam. This food is delicious. I like it very much. I'm very happy. If you like this food, tomorrow I will make the dish for you again, okay? Thank you very much, ma'am. You're very kind. Because Bawang Mera's mother often visit their house and seemed to care about Bawang Puti, Bawang Puti's father felt compatible with her. Bawang Puti's father intended to marry the widow. Bawang Puti is my dear. Will you agree if I wanted to marry Bawang Mera's mother? If you sure with your decision, I will just agree with you, father. After all, Bangara's mother was very kind to Well, if you agree, my dear, and then I will convey my intention to her. After getting approval from his daughter, Bawang Puti's father came to Bawang Mera's mother to propose her. Finally, they got married and Bawang Mera's mother and her daughter, Bawang Mera, live under the same roof with Bawang Puti's family. At the beginning of the marriage, everything seemed fine, until one day, when Bawang Puti's father was not at home, the new stepmother asked Bawang Puti to do the course, while Bawang Mera could list around in the living room. Hey Bawang Puti, don't be lazy girl, to clean the house! Okay, ma'am, I will do it. Puti, you also have to wash my clothes and clean my things. Alright, sis, I will do it. One day, Bawang Puti's father became seriously ill and eventually died. Currently, Bawang Puti is in no pain. Since this happened, Bawang Mera and her mother are increasingly acting outrageous towards Bawang Puti. Hey Bawang Puti! You have to wake up early every day, prepare food, clean the house, and others. You got it? Okay Mom, I got it. I will do it. In one afternoon, when Bawang Puti was washing clothes at the riverbank, suddenly one of her stepmother clothes was carried away with the flow of the river. When she realized it, Bawang Puti tried to get the clothes that belonged to her stepmother. Unfortunately, she couldn't bring it back. With sadness and despair, she returned home and told the incident to her stepmother. Mother, I'm sorry. Your clothes accidentally drew with the flow of the river. What do you say? What a stupid chill! Find the dress quickly and don't go home before you find it. With a sad heart, Bong Putty was forced to do her stepmother's wish. She looked for the clothes along the riverbank. Then, Bong Putty saw a woman near the riverbank. I just 
Excuse me, ma'am. Can I ask you something? Oh, okay, dear. What's wrong? Did you see the grass drifting along this river? This road is rough. I saw it move a little while ago. Here. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're very kind. While looking for the clothes, it was getting dark. Bong Putty had to find a place to spend the night because there will be no time to go home. Suddenly, she saw a hut with a light inside beside the river near the forest. It's just me. to help you for a few days. Alright, Grandma. I agree as long as Grandma wants to give that class to me. For several days in the old woman's hut, Bong Putty helped her a lot. She did various chores and cleaned the hut every day since rally. The old woman told that Bong Putty is a very good child. Dear, you have already kept your promise. And I will keep my promise to Here, I will return your mother's clothes. And also I have a present for you. Choose which pumpkin you want to take. There's a big pumpkin and small pumpkin there. I will take the little pumpkin, Grandma. Why don't you choose the big one? I'm afraid that I will not be able to bring lunch and a big pumpkin together. The do my home is also quite far, Grandma. All right, if you think so. Then I will go home, Grandma. Thanks for returning this lunch and the pumpkin. Then it's time for Bawang Puti to go home. Bawang Puti went home and once she got home, she showed the white dress to her stepmother with happiness. Oh my brother's clothes! Where have you been? Do you know? Bawang Mera got wondered for replacing your chops. And what it is? Little pumpkins? Only little pumpkins still broke? Are you the only one who was eating here? Give the pumpkins to me. Oh my god! The pumpkin given by the grandmother broke. They were so surprised when they found out that the pumpkin contained so many gold guns and jewelry. I got this gem gold from a pumpkin that an old woman gave me in the forest when I was looking for my mother clothes. Upon hearing the story from Bawang Puti, Bawang Mera intended to find the old woman. Her mother agreed with the plan. The next morning, Bawang Mera threw her clothes into the river on purpose. After that, she did the same thing as Bawang Puti. She followed the flow of the river until near the forest. Baumera then found the old woman's hut. Excuse me, Grandma. Did you see my clothes that was drifted away a while ago in the river? Oh, I found your clothes a while ago and I'm keeping it. I will return it to you in one condition. That you have to stay with me for some time. 
All right, Grandma, I will obey your words. For several days, Bong Mera lived with the old woman. As long as she were in the hut, the only thing she did was lay around and she didn't do anything good. When it came for Bawang Mera to go home, Grandma, I have been staying here with you for a few days. Where is my rewards? Alright, just between the two bundles it's for you. Alright Grandma, I will take this big bundle. As soon as he took the big pumpkin, Bong Mera left immediately. Arriving at home, Bong Mera immediately called her mother and happily sold the big pumpkin. Bong Mera's mother and Bong Mera was afraid that if Bong Puti saw them, she would ask for a share. So Bong Mera's mother told Bong Puti to wash her clothes in the river. <laughs> Hey, Bang Puti! Quickly wash our clothes to the river right now. Yes, Mom. While Bawang Puti was not at home, come on, open the quickly. I can't wait. Miss you, Mom. Bawang Mera and her mother then opened the pumpkin. But it turned out that what came out of the fruit was not gold, gems, or jewelry, but a big and very venomous snake. The snakes immediately attacked Bawang Mera and her mother until they finally died. <laughs> 